The name Super Console and GameStick are constantly seen on various sales sites and can confuse consumers who want more detailed technical information about them. So today, I'm going to talk about two of these consoles from the Kenhank brand, the X2 Pro Super Console and the King of Super Consoles, the X-King, according to Kenhank. Starting with the X2 Pro which appears to be above the X-King but which lacks the word King on it, or does it have the X2 Pro King? Let's leave that there. So, it has the Amlogic S905X2 SoC with a 1.8 GHz Cortex-A53 quad-core CPU and an 800 MHz Mali-G31 MP2 GPU. It also has 2 GB DDR4 RAM and a variety of storage. This combination of chips gives it a score of 131 and 436 in single and multi-core and 374 in Vulkan, which indicates that this device performs similarly to the Pockety A20, being inferior by around 10 or 15 percent. These scores indicate that the device has a modest performance, being more suitable for tasks and games that don't make intense demands on the processor or GPU. It should be able to handle emulation of older consoles and less demanding games competently, especially those that can take advantage of multiple cores or the Vulkan API. As such, its emulation power is this, which shows us that it is capable of emulating systems such as the N64, PSP and Dreamcast at a reasonably good level although performance may vary from game to game, especially for more demanding PSP titles. Sega Saturn performs precariously well in the vast majority of games. At a cost of around $120 for the entry-level product, I think it's a good value for money, as the next one could be twice as expensive, because it's the king and we'll see about that. The Super Console X-King is equipped with an Amlogic S922X SoC that combines a quad-core ARM Cortex-A73 and dual-core ARM Cortex-A53 CPU. It also has an 800 MHz Mali-G52 MP6 GPU and 4 GB of LPDDR4 RAM. It had benchmark scores of 118 in single core, 375 in multi-core and interestingly the scores are surprisingly close, with the X2 Pro having a slight advantage in both metrics. Will the King's Throne be taken? Looking at computing performance, with GPU involved, the King's Vulkan score is 957, significantly higher than the X2 Pro score, 374. This indicates a clear advantage for the Super Console X King in terms of graphics capabilities, especially for games and emulations that can take advantage of the Vulkan API for better performance and efficiency. And looking for a well-known console on the market, we found the Odroid Go Ultra which has this emulation performance and has the same SoC configuration as the King, changing only the RAM. This means that it is able to emulate N64 and Dreamcast very competently and that it has the graphics capacity to handle many PSP games in a playable way. As for the Sega Saturn, which is notorious for being difficult to emulate due to its complex architecture, the King can handle many Saturn games, but some titles may present problems due to the peculiarities of Saturn emulation. As for the GameCube, it can emulate some less powerful games, forget Wii games. At a cost of around $230, this device has had a significant increase in graphics processing and can be justified if you have a greater focus on more modern games. If not, the X2 Pro can do the trick, right? So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing and see you next time.